This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. It's officially summertime BS, and this is BS News for the final Friday of June 2013. And away we go. Dateline, decisions, decisions. The Supreme Court this week gutted the Voting Rights Act and also ruled in favor of gay marriage. So you are free to marry the person you love. But if you want to vote for them for county commissioner, you better both be white. In an angry dissent, Justice Antonin Scalia railed against, quote, homosexual sodomy. <clears throat> yes, and called the decision, quote, legalistic argle bargle. Here's quote. Well, that caused the state of Kansas in a homophobic panic to outlaw the act of argle bargle between consenting adults. Sounds fun, anyway. Jake line, tight ending. New England Patriot star Aaron Hernandez was arrested this this week and charged with murder. The Patriots wow. immediately dropped Hernandez from their roster and then just for good measure announced they were also cutting Paula Dean. Dateline, flat, <laughs> Ulens. This week, President Obama compared climate change deniers with the Flat Earth Society. That prompted the head of the Flat Earth Society to say that he believes in global warming, although he prefers the term disc warming. He also believes that it is man-made. Either that or the Earth is lying on a giant pancake griddle could happen. Finally, take line, Wendy! This week, Texas lawmaker Wendy Davis thwarted the passage of an anti-abortion bill with a filibuster. Davis spoke for over 10 hours, which is actually the longest anyone talked this week without firing Paula Dean. If you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'll have to go drink my happy hour cocktail from the Stanley Cup. Congratulations, Chicago. It's BS News for Friday. Have a great weekend! Yeah, I mean been a bad, bad week for Paula Dean. She's been fired more times than a redneck rifle on New Year's Eve. Cracker! <laughs> yeah, this Trayvon Martin trial is, uh, the, it, it, it is the most amazing thing to watch. I mean, this is a small town in Florida with an all-white jury, and obviously the defendant uh, being, I don't know, I, I don't even know what he is, uh, but the 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 dead person is a young black kid unarmed who oh and i love this i, I did you catch this uh, during the tri- i'm sure you know it's on like every channel i mean it's it's on every single channel now me personally i was so transfixed by watching the supreme court you know uh, take away black people's rights that i forgot to watch you know, a trial where a black person had his rights taken away. Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, today we're going to make good on that. But <clears throat> this trial, I got to say, uh, every single person, Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin's father, Trayvon Martin's mother, Trayvon Martin's friend, the neighbors, they're multicultural, and the jury is white. Isn't that fab? It, it's just fantastic. I mean, America, God love it. It's such a melting pot, isn't it? Except when it comes to juries.